All right, uh, let's look at this uh, following statement. For all prime number p, square root of p is irrational. All right, so uh, let's prove this by contradiction. All right, I'm going to also borrow this uh, following lemma. Uh, it says that uh, if prime number p divides uh, integer n squared, then uh, p has to divide n. All right, uh, there's a, a video for the proof of this lemma. So if you're interested, uh, please watch it. All right, so uh, since it's uh, a proof by contradiction, we're going to assume the opposite of what we want to say. All right, so we're going to assume that the square root of p is rational. All right, if that's the case, uh, by definition, there exist uh, integers, m and n, such that square root of p can be written as m over n. All right. And also, I'm going to make an extra assumption. Uh, we're going to assume that the uh, greatest common divisor of the numerator and the denominator is equal to 1. All right, so we can make this assumption because if a greatest common divisor of m and n is not 1, then we can simply divide the numerator and the denominator by that number so that, that we can make sure that the greatest common divisor of m and n is equal to 1. All right, so this can be done. All right, then we can just uh, simply uh, square both sides of the equation. Uh, we can get the p is equal to m squared over n squared. By multiplying both sides by n squared, we have p n squared is equal to m squared. All right, this indicates that uh, m squared has a p as a factor, so p divides m squared. Then we can use the lemma to conclude that the p actually divides m. All right, so once uh, uh, we know that the m is a multiple p, uh, we, by definition, uh, we can say there exists some integer k such that uh, m can be written as multiple of p, so it's a pk. All right, then we can just plug this pk back into this uh, top equation here then we can get the uh, following. Uh, we're going to have, right, you're going to have pn squared, and then you square pk, so you have a p squared k squared. Uh, so both sides have p in it, so divide through by p to get the n squared is equal to p times k squared, right? So since there's a p factor here, uh, we can divide uh, n squared by p. So p divides n squared. Again, using the same lemma, uh, we can conclude that the p divides n as well. All right, since the p divides both m and n, we know that the greatest common divisor, p is already a, a common divisor, so greatest common divisor is going to be at least uh, p, right? So we have p, so greatest common divisor is at least p, right? Which is a contradiction because we made sure that the greatest common divisor of m and n is equal to 1, right? So by, uh, by uh, proof of contradiction, we know that the uh, square root of p has to be irrational because uh, we got in trouble by assuming that the square root of p is rational, right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.